Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE Self Paced Paper. I am Anuj. We are trying to cover every possible MCQ that is there as part of your module, but with illustrations, with examples, with proper logic, everything that you all require. It is always better that you all see our chapters and then try to see these videos of MCQ. So therefore, like, you know, you all can answer. And a better way to make use of these videos is that whenever I say comment at that time, please try to comment below. There's a proper way how you all can try to be answering every possible MCQ. And I'm trying to be covering every nearby situations also. So therefore, if in exams something comes here and there, at that time you all can answer if you all know the concepts properly. This also acts as a revision of the chapters that we all have done because most of the things starts to come in form of MCQs. Okay, so let's see whatever you all have today. Just a reminder, in case you all have not subscribed to our channel, you all can do that. We only put relevant information. We do not overload you with the information. Whatever you will find use in exams, that is whatever we are trying to be doing. No bogus, same thing on our Telegram channel also. Okay, the links will be there in the description. And in case you want to be buying our CA final SCMP course, the link is there in the description. You all can buy directly the lectures will be starting there is no need to call us or anything all the details are given in the link given below okay so let's do the things please ri for those people who don't know ri means residual income okay residual how much is left residual income is dash measure and hence best applicable to compare performance of divisions of dash sizes it should be sizes i think i see is uh, some spelling errors are there so Four options, please. Relative, same. Relative, then different. Then absolute, same. And lastly, absolute, different. Your chapter must be over. This is a time to be commenting the correct answer. Please do that. Okay, so now residual income. Let me explain you the concept of that. That'll be far better. Now, this is the same example that was there in the previous MCQ. So, try to be thinking, Mr. A is there. He currently heads division A. And currently, his data is like this. Return that his division is getting is 150. Investment that he has done is 1000. ROI is 15%. Now, think that if suppose we are trying to measure the performance of this guy, this guy based upon ROI. In this question, it is not ROI, it is RI. ROI is return on investment if his performance was measured based upon ROI. And if some new proposal comes, suppose he's thinking to launch another product. Let me call that thing as a proposed product. That new product will be fetching a return of say 240. Investment in fixed assets and working capital will be say 2000. So therefore, new project will require or will earn a ROI of how much percent beta? 12%. 12% is 240 upon 2000 into 100. If you were there in place of Mr. A who heads division A and you are being evaluated based upon ROI beta, then you would always be thinking currently my division is fetching ROI of 15%. Now, if I undertake some new product, I undertake some new project which fetches me a lower ROI, my overall ROI of the division will be falling down once I accept this. So therefore, Mr. A would be rejecting such proposals. Why? Because his ROI will be falling. His performance will be falling because he is being evaluated based upon ROI. Now, if you logically think from his point of view, this proposal is bad because the ROI of the new project is lower than the ROI that he is getting currently. But from company's angle, consider one more information that I've given below. Cost of capital is 10%. Cost of capital is a minimum return that you want to maintain your market prices. You all have done that thing in FM. So if you want to maintain your share prices, the minimum return that you all want is nothing but 10%. Okay. So what I'm telling you all, listen to me very carefully. In this case though, if we evaluate this project from company's angle, think no, this project is giving you all 12%, whereas cost of the funds is only 10%. Now there is a new funder called as RI. That is whatever this question is all about. RI means residual income. If you all think residual income will mean what? After meeting cost of capital, how much money is left? It's an absolute concept. So let me try to be doing that. 
This project will give a return of 240. Investment is how much, beta? 2000. 2000 rupees you are going to be investing. Your cost of capital is 10%. So, therefore, your cost of funds will be 200. That is 2000 into 10%. And this project will be giving you all 240, beta. So, 240 minus your investment into your cost of capital, you will be able to get 40 rupees extra if you accept this. So from company's angle, this project is far better. So if you will, if you would have in, if you would have evaluated Mr. A based upon RI, if Mr. A would have evaluated this project based upon RI, that is residual income, he would have accepted this. If you would have evaluated Mr. A based upon ROI, he would have rejected that. So we come to a conclusion, something like this, that RI is a beautiful concept. RI tells you, are you left with any money after meeting cost of funds? If yes, then the proposal should be accepted. So therefore, in if you now tell Mr. A, don't evaluate this project based upon ROI. Evaluate this project based upon RI. What will he be doing? He'll be thinking, I'll be left with 40 rupees here after meeting cost of funds also. So therefore, he would like to accept this proposal. And that is whatever this question was all about. RI is a dash measure. It is an absolute measure, beta. It gives you rupee analysis. And hence, best applicable to compare the performance of divisions which are of same sizes. You all will understand if two divisions are very different sized, one is a very big division, other is a very small division, has lot of plant and machinery, lot of products, have very few products, very little fixed assets, then you cannot be comparing absolute returns, okay, because the base is not same. So therefore, RI funda should only be used to compare the performance of the two divisions where those divisions are same sizes. So therefore, RI is an absolute concept, that is a rupees concept. And as it is a rupees concept, it should be only used to compare the performance of two divisions which are of same sizes. So therefore, answer should be C over here. That is the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Take care.